Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. In today's lecture of classical mechanics, we are going to discuss about harmonic oscillator problem. Now, harmonic oscillator problem. So, harmonic oscillator problem. Find the value of transformed Hamiltonian for a harmonic oscillator if the Hamiltonian H and generating function f1 for it is given by h equals to p square by 2m plus half k q square. So here we have the Hamiltonian h for a harmonic oscillator and we solve this harmonic oscillator problem and here generating function f1 equals to 1 upon 2 root k m q square cot q. So Hamiltonian and generating functions are given for a harmonic oscillator problem. Now we have to find the transformed Hamiltonian for this problem. So solution. Construct the n equations of the old momenta p i by p i equals to del f1 upon del q i and f1 is this one. So we have to find p i by this relation. So p equals to del by del q of f1 and f1 is half root k m q square cot q. Now if we differentiate it with respect to a small q then 1 by 2 root k m and cot q is constant and the differential of q square is 2q. Now 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. So q root km cot q. So 1 by 2 root km 2q cot q. And if we cancel 2 and 2 then p equals to root km q cot q. Now find the value of qi as a function of a small qi, a small pi and t. And since p equal to root km q cot q and from here cot q equal to p upon root km q. So the reciprocal of this equation that is tan q equal to root km q upon p. It means q equals to tan inverse of root km q upon p. So we find the value of qi as a function of old coordinate, old momentum and time and p is this one. So capital Q equals to tan inverse root km q upon p. Now we obtain the n equations of the new momenta pi by capital pi equals to minus del f1 upon del qi and f1 is this one. So we differentiate this f1 with respect to capital Q and also we put a negative sign here. So p equals to minus del by del q of half root km q square cot q. Now half root km q square is constant and the differential of cot q is minus cosec square q. So minus half root km q square minus cosec square q and this negative and this negative will be cancelled out. So p equals to 1 upon 2 root km q square and cosec square q equal to 1 plus cot square q. So we can also write cosec as csc. csc means cosec. So capital P equals to 1 upon 2 root km q square into 1 plus cot square q. Now p is this one and cot q equals to p upon root of km q. So we replace this cot q with this one and therefore p equals to 1 upon 2 root km q square into 1 plus p square upon km q square. If we transfer this half q square inside this bracket then p equal to root km into half q square 
plus p square upon 2 k m because if we take q square inside then this q square and this q square will be cancelled out so capital P will be this one now we multiply and divide by k so capital P equal to root k m upon k into half k q square plus p square upon 2m so this is our capital P now this root k and this k will be cancelled out so here we have root k so p equal to root m upon k into half k q square plus p square upon 2m so this is our capital P since Hamiltonian of the given harmonic oscillator is p square by 2m plus half kq square it means this can be replaced with h so capital P equals to root m upon k into h or Hamiltonian h equal to root k by m into p now Hamiltonian in terms of capital P is this one and function f1 is this one finally we obtain the transformed Hamiltonian k by k equals to h plus del f1 upon del t so h is this one and we differentiate this f1 with respect to time since f1 does not depend on time since the differential will be 0 so this is 0 and therefore k equals to root of k by m into p so this is our transformed Hamiltonian so here we also proved that if the generating function f1 does not explicitly depend on time then there will be no change in Hamiltonian it means the transformed Hamiltonian and original Hamiltonian will be same since Hamiltonian h equals to p square by 2m plus half kq square it means the original Hamiltonian was quadratic in both q and p but Hamiltonian k is linear in p and hence it has no dependence on capital Q therefore the solution become easier because the original Hamiltonian means this h is quadratic function in Q and P and the new Hamiltonian that is k is a linear function of P so its solution become easier here we end our current lecture soon we will be available with another lecture of classical mechanics Till then, goodbye.